Welcome everyone, welcome to something that's not as different as it was the first time, but we are playing, or we're, we're taking a first look, is what I'll call it, at Din's Legacy. So, uh, the devs of this game contacted me, they very graciously uh, decided to send me a free copy, uh, so we'll get that straight out of the way, uh, straight off the bat, that this is a free copy, so it's not an ad, it's not sponsored. But they, I will disclose that they sent it to me for free, so whether that clouds anything or not. But this is Din's Legacy, so I had a quick look, a little bit of uh, a browse, and it's basically a really cool RPG type game that uh, I really don't know that much about, so I'll be excited to get into it. So we'll have a bit of a first look. We'll play it for, you know, a decent amount of time and see what we get. Oh, I like it already. Oh, I like it already. Because there's what? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13! Is that 39 classes? That's kind of fun. Um, although these look a bit different. It's like Weapon Master, Assassin. What does this change? Okay, so you have skills. Oh, and okay, what the, well, like what they're equipped with. Right, 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 right. Makes sense. So what have we got? Weapon Master, which I assume is going to be some sort of standard warrior. Assassin, probably a roguish thing. Healer. Gets a mace, that's fun. Uh, Fire Mage. Hunter. Ah, gets a bow, right, makes sense. Oh, it's got a little description up here. Oh, that's handy. Necromancer, or a minstrel. Now, this is multiplayer, so I can see, like, m maybe minstrel's a bit tough in single player? I don't know. But I think, right, we go, like, Assassin. This vanquishes a lethal killer, racking up huge amounts of damage. Sounds like me. Uh, not hardcore. Semi-hardcore? Nah. Semi-permanent. Slow mutation. No, I think we'll just leave everything. We might play a female, just for fun. And it will be... Well, I mean, the Aussie nerd. Easy. Uh, so what are our opening abilities? Lethal Blow. I mean, a lot of this is going to be meaningless because I haven't, like, because I haven't played the game. I don't know what sort of impact any of this has. But okay, so we, we are an assassin. We have some things. Uh, create a new area? Sure. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. So, it tells you that your character's level zero, so like a normal challenge game, is going to be zero. And if you want a hard challenge, play it four. That's very cool. I'm assuming that's going to, like, adjust as you make new areas. Uh, we'll just go normal pace, area size. We'll start tiny. Uh, region, new region. Scenario, random. Exploration. Less monsters than usual, so you can focus more on exploring. Nah, that sounds kind of boring. More monsters than usual? Nah. Low stress. This town will not have some of the more stress because I like town attacks. Dangerous monsters. Raging hordes. All levels connected. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Select area difficulty. Yeah, we'll just go normal. Oh, and it's got difficulty. Okay. No, this is all good. We will start this area. Boom. I don't know what this really means, but we'll just get straight into it. Like easy. Welcome to the quick help topic system to read a new help topic left click on the blinking question. Ah, just there. Uh, bottom center of the screen. Done. Wow, this is a lot to hit me with straight away. Just, just give me a second. New help topic. Quick up topic, game objective. Your objective is one of the new mutated race. It's to prove to the world that the mutated are good souls like the elves and not evil like the orcs, especially the dark orcs. In order to accomplish this, you along with other like-minded mutated are adventuring around Illyria trying to save the world, one adventure at a time. Each of these adventures are very different and have different win and lose conditions. Okay. Neat. Uh, items on the ground. Show text above them for easy identification. Press the alt key to toggle this feature on and off. So classic, like Diablo stuff. This is very Diablo-like. Which is a good thing. Like, sorry, Diablo 2-like. I guess it's not that Diablo 3-like. I, I don't like what they did with that. I'll be honest. Click on the ground or hold down left mouse button. Press a hotkey. 
Uh, default to the number keys, corresponding to one of the hotkey skills, left click on the enemy, right click on enemy if there is an attack skill, and the right click slot. Okay, so again, pretty standard, like, pretty standard Diablo-ish affair. Do we, do we have a map? Ah, we have a map, nice. East door. Okay, so do we just get straight into this? Buffkery. Some pedestals, crafting station, health stone, which I'm assuming is going to heal us to full. Uh, Orm is now your nemesis. Known world modifies none. Scenario, adventure. Make yourself at home, but beware the natives. Good advice. I will say, I wish... I might look at quests immediately. So nothing yet. What about the journal? Uh, doesn't seem to be anything. I will say that I wish there was a little less stuff. Like, this this is hitting you with a lot straight away. There's no preamble. They're just like, bam, you're in the game. Go for it. Which a lot of times I like. This time, maybe I want a little bit more, you know, like something. I say diplomacy statements. More blood for the blood gods. Okay. I, there seems to be a lot more going on here than it appears. Well met, the Aussie nerd. I am Red Valley's war master, Timothan Bladeweaver. Cool name, by the way. I coordinate the defense against the rest of the town. Ah, which is that? Okay, talk. What do you want? Fair enough. Oh, Vine Tail the Fatiga has been killed. Vile Tail the Fatiga. Uh, quests. Uh, kill Orm. This is your nemesis. This is the wind quest for this area. Ah, okay. Orm and Adonaga has been spotted. Go kill it before it becomes more dangerous. Cool. Okay. Okay. Ah, so this is priority one. So this is... Guys, will you just calm down a minute? So this is our main thing. Kill your arch nemesis, Pim the Rich. Pim the Rich, a Carnage Clan Orc Scout, is your arch nemesis. Your arch nemesis will likely cause you many problems before you can locate and kill it. But kill it as soon as you can. It looks like Pim the Rich. Oh, sorry. It looks like Pim the Rich is not in this area of the world. Okay. Uh, it's been spotted. No locations. Okay, so priority one is this. Four child quests. Child quest four spawned outstanding none. So, is Priority 3 harder? Arch Nemesis seems kind of harder than Nemesis, but having said that, this is a win quest for this area. So, Priority 1, just accept. How do we feel about this? Uh, search for Orm for one silver piece, I presume. 36 cloth pieces. This will add a waypoint on your map with the latest room position of Orm. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, so... I like this. Okay, that doesn't really help me. I like this already. Oh, hello. Uh, the mutants. Uh, ba -ba sure. Oh, we have... The mutants have... Oh, okay. So I can, like... We offer a non-aggression pact. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's what we offer... Uh, reject. No. No, I'm, I'm not paying you for a non-aggression pact. Clan relations. You found your first clan. Talk to them on the relations screen. Second button from the left. Additional clans will be added as you find them. The clan relations screen shows how much everyone likes or dislikes each other. Wow, I can see myself getting lost in this game in the good way. Though, like, there is a lot here and it seems very deep. Which, maybe not great for a first look, but... Yeah, I, like, I'm excited to keep playing this. Uh, clan relations can show as much everyone likes or dislikes each other, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Uh, dynamic world. Unlike most games, Din's Legacy has a very dynamic world. Each and every scenario will be very different. Without giving away any spoilers, when an NPC says do this quick or something might happen, it will probably happen if you don't do something about it. When an NPC says hurry, they really do mean it. Cool. The game will change depending on what is going on in the area when you arrive, what you do, what you don't do, and even what the monsters and other clans do. So keep on your toes and solve the problems as quick as you can. You are the hero after all. Well, I mean, I'm a hero. Uh, this would... I Okay, this is definitely very interesting in terms of... Um... Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, sorry, in terms of multiplayer. 
Racing towards the player, max 100 from the mutants, 53. Okay, so it's just basic. And the mutants are honorable, adventurous, and ruthless. Okay. So basically, don't piss them off. If you piss them off, they will continue to be pissed off forever. Makes sense. Let's go and kill something. Red Valley Gate. What does that do? Double quests. Oh, okay. Hang on. Kill Putrid Stink the Gutter Lord, or whatever it is. Is that something that you give me? Putrid Stink the Gutter. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go. I found them. Oh, zombies. Uh, okay. Well. Zombies? Not very good. Anything there? That looks like a thing. Maybe not. Secret stash, no trap, 69% chance correct. First of all, uh, nice. Second of all, yeah, why not? Well, it wasn't trapped. There's four copper pieces and a large axe. Is that large axe like enchanted or something? Rarity common. Okay, so green is common. Good to know. Okay, that also didn't seem to be trapped. Good. Oh god, zombies. Ow. Am I like... Oh, bleeding or something? Wow, that's a... That's a quick zombie. That's a very quick zombie. Oh my god. So is it the monolith doing it? Okay, hang on. Base gate. Your base gate allows you to quickly teleport. Okay, so it's just teleportation. Object interaction. Many objects in the world can be used and or destroyed. Uh, many times there are, these are useful, but not always. For example, some things are poisonous or are holding up the ceiling. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I love this. I love this game. I love this game. Money in the world of Illyria comes in the forms... Okay, yeah. 100, 100, 100. Pretty standard, like, dollar, dollary rates. Metric rates. Uh, okay, so normal, common, rare, set, elite, artifacts, and legendary. Common and rare have some random magical enhancements. Okay, so common is a good thing. Set items belong to a group of items. Elite items items that are named. Uh, artifact items are very similar to elite items, but usually have at least one extra enhancement. Okay, and then legendary items are the Holy Grail. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, inventory screen, I know how that works. Generally, damage. Your defense, your character has multiple layers of damage mitigation. Defense, resistance, armor, and health. So pretty standard. Physical attack. So if a physical attack, your defense tries to avoid the attack altogether. Then if the attack hits, your resistance and armor will reduce the damage taken. Finally, the reduced damage decreases your health. Okay, cool. Okay, so, yeah, makes sense. Uh, three skeleton keys. Trap type, magical explosion. 69% chance correct. Let's not touch the magical explosion thing. Wait, can I poke these? No. I will say, it, um, like, not to criticize, but the game is very busy. Like, there's a lot here, there's a lot of stuff here, and it's all very similar colors, uh, which makes it a bit hard to watch. Uh, each time your mutated progress bar fills up, you automatically and randomly mutate. This minor mutation can be a random skill level, a mutation to a skill you already have, a positive mutation, a negative mutation, a random skill, or even a unique skill. Oh, okay. While these random mutations will pull your character in unexpected directions, you can fight against this if you want by using your skill points to remove unwanted mutations and skills. Each time you gain a minor mutation, you also get a mutation point that allows you the opportunity to do a major mutation which you control. Very cool. Uh, buh, buh, drink a health potion. Let's use a health stone in town. Uh, okay. It's pretty standard stuff. Once you have a mutation point available, you can use them. One at a time, to mutate with another character. To mutate with another character or a class specialty, change your skills towards the other character or specialty. Results. We use one mutation point. Uh, for each... Skills of skill levels will not change. Armor skills used by equipped arms will not change. For each other skill, 40 percent chance to keep... Mutator level minus one gets recalculated. 
Percentage extra skills pass. Regain your skill points. Use get refund to mutation skills. Sure. I understood half of that. But I'm interested to find out what that means. Blue crystal? Ow! Don't hit the blue crystal. Right, so you can probably do things like that for, um... If you're the archer, you know, you can just pew and shoot the blue crystal and stuff. Right. Secret doors. Beware, things are not always as they seem. Sometimes sections of walls are really illusions, which are secret doors leading to secret areas. Usually there will be some subtle clue that marks them as different somehow. I'm guessing there's one here because it did just point it out to me. Maybe. Maybe. Subtle clues? Or is that just... Is it just telling me that because... Wait. Nemesis. Discovered Nemesis. That's not my Nemesis, is it? Protect me. This is the lose condition of this area. Okay, you must protect the War Master Steward and Apothecary. If all these NPCs in town die, you will lose this area. No, Orm is my Nemesis. Do I like... Nemesis. He's past. Oh, hang on. Right. Okay. Nemesis is the clan. Right. 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 Uh, nothing's too evil for Nemesis. They fight for power, wealth, and the downfall of any competitor. Their decisions are careful, though aggressive. Most clans would never trust them. They don't even trust themselves beyond short-term common goals. Aggressive and deceitful. Okay. Sure. Seems fine. Nice. A copper. I will take that. Uh, might be locked. Well, apparently not. I like how it gives you a percentage chance. It's just like, it could be locked, perhaps. A light door. Put in a slot on the... T oh, town defences. Wow, so there's... You have to defend the town as well. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. I will say, if you guys want me to do, like, a bigger Let's Play of this, or even get some friends involved, let me know. I will happily do it. It's just, at the moment, I'm pretty busy with a million other games. Ow. Wow. Is everything supposed to just super die? Oh, Orm. Soon you will be dead. Well, well, Orm. You're a bit of an asshole. I'm, I'm coming for you, don't you worry. Oh, little bug thing. Wow, okay. These things, not dying. Oh god, there's a lot. Running, running. Ow. Oh my god, are they like little invisible buttholes? I think they are. Okay, I leveled up though, so eat it, I get full health again. So far, this is just like... This is very Diablo, but... More intense? Like, there's a lot more going on. Uh, level up. Okay, each time you increase your level, you get more attribute points. Open up your character page, skill points, yeah, okay. Right. So I get attribute points. I get five. Wow. I have 29 vitality. Interesting. Why do I have 29 vitality? Also, I have some effects here. Shield of Fire. Uh, which is kind of fun. I don't know how I got that. Infinite Mana. Greatly increases regen of mana. It's not really what infinite means, but okay. And I'm cold. Okay. Uh, well, I, I mean, we'll just... I don't know why my vitality is so high. Like... Everything else, like 10, 5... Wait, hang on, toughness. Didn't we pick up, uh... Oh, okay, I don't care that much about that, but... Common stats, other stats, main stats. That's cool. Mutate. Mutate with another character or class specialty to change your skills. Let's see. Uh, mutate from specialty. I don't have an existing character. Oh, okay, so I can, like, pull some things from other classes. Why don't we pull from... You... 
Or do I just mutate from you? No. Let's mutate from the War Master. I have mutated with War Master. And then I get skills. Because I have three points. So now I can get some actual things. Mutations. So I have toughness. Tough characters have more vitality than normal. Okay, yes, yeah. So I get... Wow. At, at current level one, you get plus ten vitality. And ten percent vitality. So that's why our vitality is super high. Uh, that's a mutation we're going to keep, obviously. Uh, I can increase our sword skills, assassination. Get more health bonus, attack bonus, health bonus, attack bonus. Okay, right. So it's just basic stuff. But we'll get some skills. We'll get some of the fun stuff. So we can get lethal blow, powerful attack with a high chance to hit more damage and more critical hits. Sounds good. Or accuracy. Uh, it's a passive skill. Okay. Uh, bleed. Is that a passive? That's a passive. We're going to take that, and I guess we'll take this. And that seems good. Might even put that on my, like, right hand. Is that how that works? I'm pretty sure that's on my right hand. Uh, right, so... Monster level 3 to 7. Ah, okay. Room position of Orm. Okay, he's up there. The asshole. I hate you, Orm. You dick. I don't even know why we're nemeses. But I hate you. I hate everything about you. Oh, blue crystal power. Why do I hear... Critters. Oh. That's why. I see you, because there's little invisible buttholes, that's why. Uh, skill screen... Yeah, uh, that's fine, I know how to use skills and stuff. Buying skills. Skills are not arranged in a skill tree. Oh, okay, so you didn't have to... Oh, all the skills are available at the very beginning. But they each have a different point cost. So... Like... Okay, I'm just going to open this for a sec. So... There's no tree per se, but, you know, it would be foolish, I guess, to, like, pay for a, the super intense one before you... Well, that would be pretty good. Before you sort of get the previous ones. So, what's our best? Death blow. Gobs of damage is more likely to hit the target. Gobs of damage. Bit of a weird sentence. Uh, when you kill with this attack, a poison cloud is released. What? Oh, I love it. Okay. Alright. Say no more. Skill types. Three types of skills. Passive, active, and support. Passive or automatically thing. Active. Appropriate way. Support works similar to passive, but only work with specific other skills. Okay. Right. Okay, actually you can see the enemies on the map. I'm on I'm on drugs. I just looked at the minimap. Oh, except we can't see the little critters. That worked pretty well. Oh my god, there are so many of you. Go away. I'm getting mangled. Stop. I'm gonna go ahead and... Drink one of these. Is that a health potion? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. You mutate, you have now have mana regen. What does that look like? Mana regen bonus skill? Mana regen bonus skill? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, so we just get more mana regen. Fair enough. What is, oh, I guess that's our health. Oh, neat. I hear you. Is there little critters in here? I hear little clippity cloppin'. So, hang on. Blue crystal power. Oh, no, it makes me cold. Okay. Ah, there it is, though. More cold damage. Plus 200% cold damage, plus 25 to 50 cold damage. Why not just plus 200 to plus 225 or whatever? Okay, that one's gotta go. 
Ah, okay, so we had some sort of, like, starting buff. Now, we're not quite as effective. Salmon drain, that's rude. Um, do we actually have, like, cloth gloves? We should right-click to identify. Sorry about that. How unprofessional of me. Uh, but, flimsy short swords. That one we don't really care about. It tells you what it retails for, though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can't use this stuff, right? No, it requires armor skill male. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, right, okay. So this will say, like, requires weapon skill dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have sword. Neat. A nemesis. Maybe we could rule this land together. Sure, I guess. Uh, left click to talk to clan. Why not? Get quests. Solve quests. Interesting. Sabotage? Oh, oh my god. This is really giving me, like, Mountain Blade crossed with Diablo feels. And those are good feels. Those are feels that I want. Oh, look, little gobbo boys. Gobbos? No, stop. Don't. No. No. Oh, this is like the Nemesis Fortress, I guess. Right? Timber Door of Shadows. Uh, monster level 2. Level inactive monsters don't respawn. Right click to show Timber Door of Shadows level map. Left click. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of love's been put into this. How have I never heard of this before? Oh my god. I'm just going to put this out here right now. Development team of, of Din's Legacy. You are my guys. I love you. Yeah, so it's a Nemesis bulletin board. Oh my... Orm Nemesis has built a recon totem. Okay. Uh, time to bang on the drum. Sure. We can teleport. Okay, love it. What is this, though? Pedestal. Masking right. When equipped, relic affects all clan members. Ah, okay, so this is like the... This is how you defend. Ah, right. Okay, so if I put a flimsy light door of spurs... Ah, I'm not in this clan, so I can't do it. Okay, okay. No, I, I, I'm picking it up. Marauders and the Mutants have signed an aggression pack. Oh my god. Guys, there is so much in here. I want to keep playing this. I want to keep playing this, but... There's no time. Like, there's not enough time in the day. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. God. I I wish I could say, right, I wish I could say that I was that much of a sellout, but they sponsored me and that's why I love it, but that's not true. Like, this is just awesome. There, is, there are some things I am not a fan of, right? I think the combat's a little bit clunky looking. Like, there could be some more animations to make it look a bit fancier. The way you just kind of swat things away is a little bit meh. But you can get away a lot if your gameplay is just mwah. Ow. Got hit with the, the stink. Is it like, can we still there? And obviously I still don't know how a lot of things work in this game. But my god, I can see myself getting lost in this for ages. Die! Oh my god, why are you so hard to kill? And I have Lightning Swarm, Lethal Blow ability. There we go. Lightning Swarm, Lethal Blow. Looses a bunch of Lightning Bolts that move randomly. Enhances the following skill, Lethal Blow. Oh, okay. Which is this, right? Oh my god, it is. 
Lethal Blow of Lightning Swarms. Oh, I love it. Uh, I kind of want this. I don't have points for that. Let's upgrade. We'll just upgrade Lethal Blow. What a, what a stupid question. <laughs> Obviously. Um, character. Right, give me more... Maybe a bit more dex. Yeah, that's probably fine. God, I have a few friends. I can see my way... I can definitely see myself talking them into this. I think my only major complaint... And this is... Oh yeah, that was clearly a trap. My only major complaint, and it's not a not a big one. Wait, what was that? Slippery surface. Oh, it's like a bit of something. Yeah, my only complaint about this, and it's really not that much of a complaint, is just that it the ground there's a bit too much going on on the ground. Like I can zoom right in, which I don't think makes it any easier. But you get know what I mean? Like, it's just very busy. The whole screen's very busy. Which, I think... Oh, I don't mind lightning swarms or whatever. I want to see lightning swarms. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm getting mobbed by little critters. It is also a little bit hard to click on things sometimes. Like, especially things with little, little hitboxes like this. You just go away. Ah, oh, there's the lightning swarm. Cool. Cool. Secret stash. Trap sparks. 59% chance to be correct. That's probably a guarantee. A saying diplomacy requests. They want 78 credit points, and they will give me a superior light door. You know what? No. No. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want it. Uh, we are pretty dead, though. Combo multiplier. Extra damage for varying your skill and damage type usage. Oh, my God. There is so much in this game. Uh, okay. I, I can right-click. Good. Wow. I, I, sorry. I'm, like... Really excited. Oh my god, what is that? A thundering Styrak. Would you like to see my thunder? Oh god, he hits... Oh, he hasn't hit hard. He's got a lot of health. Go away. You as well. Don't think you can hide from me. Shoot. A hammer, tumbler of minor resistance. It's okay, it's a flimsy short sword, which at the moment I am using... A flimsy short sword. Okay, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can have two weapons. All right, another classic. Nemesis has stopped raining the dams. Yeah, there's just like a lot going on here that I don't quite understand. I'm sure as I played it more, I would be very into this. But I'm already pretty into it. I'm already very into this. Oh, it's going nighttime? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I should be concerned about? Or excited for? That was some sort of trap. Oi! He's a little creeping brood. I hate him. I hate him so much. Oh, speak of the devil. Get, get out of here. Get, go away. Why are you here? Shoo. Shoo. So wait. Uh, shadowy Thomas Rainforest. Level active monsters respawn. Right click to show Shadowy Thomas Rainforest level map. I'm right clicking. Nothing's happening. That's fine. Kill Grave Stench the... Was it? Grave Stench the Stalker. The Death Lord. Where was that? From position of Orm. Oh, sorry, this is that. There's a guy here, I just don't know where he is. Wait, hang on, can I... Search for target. 16 credit po uh, copper coins. Copper pieces. Yeah. How to uncanny crypt of souls level 1 map. 
I don't know where that is. <laughs> Uh, quests. That one. Uh, map screen. Goes to the general vicinity. I don't know where that is. I'm very confused, but that's okay. Let's just go after Orm. It's got... My screen was really jibbing out there for a second. Ah, whatever. Orm's not that way. Orm is up there. Or allegedly. What do you got? Thundering Styrax? Oh my god, this might actually be maybe too many. I can't use skills. Ah, my ears. Stop. You have to go. You definitely have to go. My goddamn ears. Stop. Snap. Oh my god. I... What now? Hey, the Aussie nerd. Your mother wears armadillo boots. I mean... Got him, I guess? Maybe? So is that... Give me a new... Ah, so it's like he sends me a message from here or whatever. Series known for its smugglers. That's cool. Uh... Yeah, no, maybe so. I I don't really know how this works. I don't know how this works. But so far, like, I, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna play more of this. But, we might call that first look there. So I'll just, like, save and exit this, because I definitely... Definitely want to play more of this, but, um... Oh my god. Also. Also, guys, let's just, like... Wow, it's already at half master volume. Ugh. Okay, we'll just turn all this down a little bit. Right, apply. Oh, it's much more sensible. Guys, so this is Din's Legacy. I'll put some links and stuff. It is on Steam. It's full release now. Um, check it out. I had a lot of fun. Um, well, like, check it out or don't. If this looks like something you play, go over there, play it. Tell them I sent you so they know that the, their free key wasn't completely wasted. And, uh, guys, I, I like it. I think it's got... A lot of potential, and there's a lot of stuff going on in here, which I'm really excited to, like, play around with and find out. The only complaint is the graphics are a bit dated, but I play a lot of games where the graphics are a bit dated, and it has never really, really bothered me. So, guys, do everything I said. Links in the description down below. And we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends about enjoying my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback to videos you want to talk about, if you are going to pick this up or you want to, like, pop in and tell me that you did pick it up, uh, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Maybe. We'll see. Goodbye.